chapter 12. And in that day you shall say, I will give thanks unto the Lord, O Lord, for you was angry with me. Thine anger is turned away, and you comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation, and I will trust and will not be afraid. For God, the Lord, is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation, and in that day shall you give thanks unto the Lord. Proclaim his name, declare his doings among the peoples. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done gloriously. This is made known in all the earth. Cry aloud and shout, you inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of you. Okay, let's go back up to verse 1. This is a very short chapter, six verses. Six is, stands for the work of men, and this is that what we see in the world. We'll remember yesterday, the last chapter, we was talking of this, even this end sign that God is going to raise up even, even as God said, this great end sign of, from the root of Jesse, from the house of David, this even the throne of David, where she would be raised up. This is God's work. God has done this. Man did not do this. God says, I have done this. I said I was going to do this. And we're going to find out before we get to the end of Ishaia or Isaiah that he said he was. this is what he was going to do. And he was going to make all the nations come to it. And this is the glorious work that God has done. God has done. No man has done. God is your salvation. God has made himself known in all the earth. God has done this. What? And in that day you shall say, I will give thanks unto you, O Lord, for you was angry with me. Your anger is turned away, and you comfortest me. And who? All the house of Israel, when they realize. Now Israel is those ten nations scattered in all the earth, even now. And you will witness this. You have witnessed this. You have seen this. It's your interpretation thereof that is mingled. You don't understand now. God has done this. God has caused this. God has brought this great drunkenness upon all the earth. God has made himself known too. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For God, the Lord, is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. God has become my salvation through the understanding that God has shown himself now in his work. Not the work. In his work has he shown himself. 3. Therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. And these wells of salvation are the laws of God, the precepts of God, the understanding of God even. Out of these wells shall you draw the water of salvation. And this is the way it's been from the beginning. But with joy shall you do it. Why? Because you know you serve the Almighty God, which has shown himself strong through the, the declaration of what the prophets have said and the fulfillment thereof in a multitude of years. For, and in that day shall you give thanks unto the Lord, proclaim his name, declare his doings among the peoples, make mention that his name is exalted. And no one else's. For nobody else is greater than God. We look unto God for salvation. We look unto his, the law for salvation. His commandments, his paths, his ways. As it has been prophesied. See, because God has made himself known through a mighty work. He has accomplished the task which he said he was going to do. Five, sing unto the Lord. For he hath done gloriously. This is made known in all the earth. And all the earth shall know. See, God has worked gloriously in this great work that he has done. And he has said and done just what he said he was going to do. He has shown his work unto all the earth. Sing of the Lord, for he hath done gloriously. This is made known in all the earth. All the earth. And we're going to find out, see, by this. Has he not only redeemed, but punished as well? 6. Cry aloud and shout, you inhabitant of Zion, 
For great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of you. Cry aloud and shout, you inhabitants of Zion, these that of the parched place. For God has done great. God has worked greatly now in Israel. Even in the midst of all of you has he done this. Exactly what he said he was going to do. See, the zeal of the Lord done this. The jealousy of God done this. And he's going to make it known. Strip you bare. Make it known. Plain as day. See, and this is the work. This is what he's doing now. First, he did just what he said. Now, is the sign, is the sign greater than he that lifted it up? No, no, it cannot be. Can the standard be greater than the one that lifted it up? No. See, does the axe boast himself against he that hews with it? No. And this is what this all means, see. It's turned around now. It's twisted back to where it belonged in the beginning. Brought back for that which it was. Because, see, in the beginning they knew not. Neither can, did they consider these things. For they was in darkness. Now light has come, and these things are made known. It's evident in all the earth. Fatness now is what will break them. It's already written. We're going to see this great and marvelous work that God has done is so marvelous that none do consider it. But God is our salvation. God has made himself known. There's no reason to fear. But now patience for yet a little while. And he turns his wrath. All right, we are going to move on now to chapter 13.